could get my three clients tonight like usual, that would make me so happy. Oh, I need money. I need money now. I need money galore. My favorite customers, I'm waiting for you. Just come and get me. I'm waiting for you. It's not my neighbor, whom I see from here. But what is she still looking for at this late night? I absolutely have to go see her right away to talk to her for a little while. Because it's clearly not normal for her to continue living this life of debauchery, with everything I've said to her in the past. Come on, let's go. I'm leaving. Oh, my beloved Diane. What are you still doing here? Oh, Tanya, I'm still enjoying my life a little longer, before it's too late. With everything I've told you recently? Are you still enjoying your life like this? Oh, Tanya, I understood everything you've told me recently. But I can't stop doing this job that I love so much. Because it gives me a lot of pleasure, and it earns me a lot of money. I know that it keeps you alive, and it earns you a lot of money. Have you thought about the consequences that this could bring? Oh, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I'm ready to take on any possible consequences. Wow. I am very shocked by the answer you gave me. Can't you work and support yourself normally like everyone else? Oh no Kokot, I like the work I already do. I am completely happy with this life that I lead. I am not yet ready to follow your Jesus that you recommend to me. If you knew the financial pressure that I am under from my family, who still live abroad, you would not even tell me to stop this job. Oh yeah. Your family is pressuring you to this extent. Oh. Yes, Tanya. My family doesn't want to understand anything. They ask me for money all the time. And I have to send them this. Okay, and have you tried to tell them that life is not easy here too? I tried everything, but they don't want to understand anything. Once I said no to one of my brother's requests. You know, after that, they automatically cut off all ties with me. Nobody wanted to talk to me anymore. So, I have to do this job, to be able to earn a good living, and provide for my family's needs, and my needs too, while also having fun doing it. Because I don't want to lose my family. Wow. Okay I totally understand what really drives you to do this job too. Sincerely. May the Lord God assist you. I will help you find a solution. Because it is not good that you continue to lead this life of impurity that you are currently leading. Okay, I would like you to help me in any case. Perfect. God loves you, and he does not want the death of the sinner, but rather that of sin. Okay. Thanks anyway for your beautiful advice. You're welcome Diane. It's normal, we're together. Okay. Oh Lord, grant this girl mercy so that her soul does not go to perdition. Show kindness to her. Draw her to you so that she may know your light. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed, Amen. What does this girl even believe? It is because of this life that I lead, that I live in luxury. Thanks to my clients, I managed to make everyone believe that I am a fighter and wealthy woman on social networks. She can't even realize how much profit I make from this job. Because thanks to it, I travel all over the world. And everyone respects me. Thanks to the money my clients give me, I also gain so much respect in my family. Everyone is on my feet when I return home. I am not ready to stop this wonderful life that I am currently leading. I want to enjoy my life first, like that, maybe when I'm 50, 60, I'll give my life to Christ as she wants. For now, I'm still going to enjoy the money of my multi-millionaire clients. Oh great. I'm already watching her from here. She's exactly the one I need. What I like most about her is that she's still young. Her organs will sell for so much, and will be gone very quickly. And yes, that's exactly it. I don't even doubt it. You amaze me. As I told you before. You will have the briefcase, which we have prepared expressly for her. She will certainly not refuse. Me too, I'm so sure of it. 
But who is this handsome man who comes towards me like that? I can't wait to meet him. I feel like he needs a beautiful girl like me to end his evening. Excuse me, my handsome uncle. Aren't you looking for a beautiful woman like me, to end this beautiful evening? Of course, beautiful woman. I came exceptionally to get you. Oh great. My handsome man. I think you did so well. Of course, I did very well to come and get you. Come on, shall we go? Yes, let's go. I hope you had prepared some nice things for me. Yes, of course, my pretty. There are some really nice surprises waiting for you. Okay. I can't wait for him to come quickly and drop this girl off at the hotel, so we can get what we need from her. Thank you for going to such great lengths to accommodate me. It really means a lot to me. Oh. It's nothing yet, Diane. What awaits you soon is even more grandiose than what you see. Oh. Okay my man. I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm already here. I can't wait to get the essentials on her. The goods are already here. Yes it's already there. Perfect. I'll be right there. Perfect. But what merchandise are you talking about? Oh, honey. This is another commodity. Today will be your last day on Earth. You will join our ancestors soon. No no, no I didn't come here for that. I know. But it's already over my darling. Exactly. Unfortunately, you will never see the light of day again. Oh please, have mercy on me. Don't do this to me. There's no more mercy unfortunately. Great, it's fixed. My friend Antioch can start doing the work. Quick, let's go sell all his organs to multiply our profits. But what exactly is wrong with my neighbor? Why isn't she answering my calls? I think I need to nurse the police quickly. Because it's been three days now that I haven't heard from her. Come on, I'm leaving right away. I'm very pleased with the work you've done. Oh thank you very much great leader. In just a few minutes we will be leaving this country for a good while. Magnificent, very good idea. This way, no one will suspect us in this matter. Obviously Antioch. Thank you very much for the information you have just given us. This matter will be taken very seriously indeed. We will conduct our investigations, and we will keep you informed of the progress. Okay. Do something, Mr. Policeman. Because this girl has a good heart. But why does it smell so bad in this hallway? I'll quickly report it to my manager, so we can see what's really going on here. Come on, let's go. Like I was telling you, that's the weird smell I smell in the hallway on the other side. Okay, that works. I'll go take a closer look later. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, this smell is overwhelming. I can't go into this room alone. The police need to come and see what's wrong with this room. I wanted to inform you that your neighbor is no longer with us. She was the victim of organ trafficking. These executioners had no pity for her. Oh Lord. And have pity and mercy. That's pretty much what I had to tell you. You can now inform her parents if you know them. Not even. Her parents live abroad. Okay, we'll have to find a way to explain to them what happened with their daughter. Okay. My only daughter is no longer in this world. But how can she do such a thing? I could never imagine that she was doing this job abroad. I'm too sad too. With all the pressure we put on her every day, it's normal that she goes into prostitution to provide us with all this money. I think you are completely right. We should have paid attention and understood her sometimes, when she told us that she had no money on her. Exactly, mother. What are we going to do now? Who will be able to help us out again? I don't even know, mother. It will be very difficult for us. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, 
God is calling all of us to make a choice while we still have time. This world is temporary, and the pleasures found in it cannot offer the true peace that only a life in Christ can give. From Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 tells us, I called heaven and earth to witness against you today, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that when your descendants may live. Let us not forget that God calls us to holiness in our bodies, because they are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Living in purity keeps us away from God and His blessings. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 18 Before you say this, flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin that a man commits is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Jesus warned that his return will be sudden, and it is important to prepare spiritually now. There will be no second chances after his return. Matthew 24 verse 44 tells us this. Therefore you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour when you do not expect. God is always ready to forgive those who come to him with a repentant heart. No matter the mistakes of the past, his love and grace are infinite. Dear parents, don't put too much pressure on your children anymore. Be grateful for the little they give you. May God bless you abundantly, and see you soon for a new video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss any of our next videos. May God bless you and protect you. If only I could get my three clients.